it's just gonna bring a different aspect of homeschooling that we have not had. So that being said, one of the biggest fears, I think, not even fear, but it's just one of the biggest concerns, okay? With ordering curriculum that's coming from the US for us Canadian moms is that it Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a homeschool curriculum unboxing from the good and the beautiful. If you guys haven't seen my old videos, I was basically saying I was getting bored of the curriculum that I kind of use for my other children. If you're unfamiliar with me, I am a homeschool mom of five and I'm currently homeschooling my five-year-old along with my two-year-old, but I am a seasoned homeschool mom because I've actually homeschooled my older three all the way from elementary into high school. I currently have a 20 year old studying nursing and two other ch older children that are currently in high school and wrapping up their years. So that said, I have used curriculum with them and I just kind of felt like I wanted something different. I'm in a different stage of life. I am currently homeschooling a son and a daughter and that's very different to me because my three eldest were all girls. So I don't know, that kind of played into my, my decision as well to try different things. But I feel like I was just kind of getting bored. Maybe after years and years of doing the same curriculum, I felt like I wanted to mix it up with the littles. Some purchases. I want to point out, I am a Canadian. I want to repeat, Canadian homeschool mom. And I just like, I kind of want to just say that just because sometimes I find the resources here for us are so limited. And also when we watch certain YouTube videos, very seldom do we get to find things for, for we, do we get to see other Canadian mamas? I don't know. I'm sure there are some, but it are probably just far and few in between. So I just want to put that out there that I am a Canadian homeschool mom and just because I, I want to share a little bit about the process as well uh, in getting my stuff. So that being said, one of the biggest fears, I think, not even fear, but it's just one of the biggest concerns, okay, with ordering curriculum that's coming from the US for us Canadian moms is that it's so pricey. Right now, our dollar doesn't go very far. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. I will tell you exactly how much it costs, but I ended up paying pro almost like a whole extra hundred dollars just because the dollar difference is so high and um, I was also concerned about duty charges but that fear has gone because it actually came straight to my door <laughs> so so I just wanted to kind of put that out there I'm gonna go ahead oh secondly I want to point out that I'm aware that this curriculum is that you could print it out but I didn't I debated long and hard about if I wanted to do that and I just didn't want to right now long story short my husband and I both agreed it was just probably just easier to just get the books anyways enough talking let's get into the unboxing so straight off the bat my package arrived like this and it came with the receipt slip so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so we're gonna start things off with science guys I ordered the signs for little hearts and hands and this is the big book so I checked out a bunch of reviews on this book initially and then I looked I love that on their website. It's so thorough in the sense that you can see so much of the book, if not like, it's like 60 pages or something like that. I thought that was really cool because it gave me great insights as to what everything looks like. I love the fact that this book is built upon science stories, but most of all, I love the beautiful pictures that go along with it. It's phenomenal, like love that. I have yet to use the curriculum as you guys can see, because obviously I'm unboxing it for the first time and I've never used it. But I am beyond excited for this, for my little ones, because it's just going to bring a different aspect of homeschooling that we have not had. And it's also going to kind of complement some of what we've been doing. But it also comes with a parent guide, which is really neat because it just, you know, it just helps us to navigate in knowing what we're doing, how we're gonna teach and what the purpose of what we're doing is. For my experience from using mainstream books, which is kind of all, what I've always used, so honestly, like that's worked because I've done it with my eldest kids. The one thing that seems to always lack in them is the just the direction and also 
any guidance, real guidance. It comes with its few instructions at the top and then you're left stranded. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what I mean because that is a thing. There's like just few little instructions and then you, that's it. If you're, if you run into any issues when you're unfamiliar, you're stuck. There's little to no direction. So I'm hoping, I mean, based on the fact that this is provided, I'm hoping that it gives the direction as needed. It talks about the discussion and optimal activities. Okay, I'm like, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So that was the, that's the first thing that I grabbed. Another thing that intrigued me was the language arts and literature book level one because she is in grade one. This is the course book. And once again, beautiful, beautiful pictures. Love it. It looks phenomenal. Um, and because this just kind of goes hand in hand with what we are doing because we are a bit traditional when it comes to sitting down and doing our book work. I don't want to do that all day, but we do do that because it's very important for us. This is kind of right up the alley of that. We go through it together and do our traditional learning, but I just love the way it's set up. It's short, it has short stories in there as well. And like I said, with just gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. It is a pretty thick book, so it looks like it's going to be, uh, you know, hefty workload, but I'm, I'm prepared. We, you know, my kids are used to doing a certain course load. And honestly, for any reason, if we can't get through it, we can always do some in the summer or something, but there's always ways to work around it, but I'm excited. So this also came hand in hand, the reader cards, the reading booster cards this is so cool and it comes with level b which is really cool i just love the breakdown you know in the book that we were using though it had little sections on stuff like this it didn't have like a traditional breakdown to focus on like say ooh sounds it just kind of jumps in it and it's just like boom 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 done and next and here you actually get to focus on it and then you are, it gives you ways for to help your child practice from what i'm seeing which is really neat this goes hand in hand with it as well this came with this set that's reading booster cards and it correlates with this so another book that i grabbed was the good and the beautiful math one I debated about this one because our math wasn't so much of an issue so I could have kind of stuck with what we had but I figured you know what since I'm doing the whole career I'm trying something new I kind of wanted to test out like the curriculum on a whole to see if it will go if I want to follow through with you know continuing with it after this year so I just find it kind of gave myself a good chance let's figure this out a little bit let's see what I like from what I don't like and then we can next year I'm not kind of still in the same dilemma of trying to figure out this as well it's either i like it and i stick with it or i don't and i go some and i figure something else out before i purchased this book i did do the quiz with my daughter so we determined what level she was at what grade level and we yeah we kind of just did that um one thing i'm saying I'm, one thing i i'm loving right now about these books is the fact that the spine is like this it allows for the book and the pages to flip very easily whereas in the traditional book if they're just like bounded a certain way they can be finicky and can fall apart though I, I haven't had too many experiences with that but I really do like this and I really do like the fact that there's like a explanation of what to do like it says read to the child when comparing numbers when you use certain symbols to show it if greater like it explains to you what you need to do what you need to do with your child as you approach each lesson and there's definitely a lot of material in there for sure to cover another thing that went hand in hand with that book is this kit this math one kit let's how, how do you open this you slide it oh you just slide it out so this whole this kit features a bunch of things that are used in conjunction with the book it comes with money it has two um dice it has shapes i'm not sure how they're all gonna play into it and oh and Another cool feature is that it has a built-in clock, which is really neat because my daughter's currently going through um, learning about analog clocks, and we I was just debating to replace our clocks because we had one since my older kids were young, and it kind of broke along the way, so I needed to replace it. This comes with one, so this is really neat. I love that. Before I get to the other thing, um, another thing that came is this cute whiteboard i'm not sure what this came with if it came with math i'm assuming it probably came with the math but that is really really cool it didn't exactly come with a marker but it came with this cute little mini whiteboard which is cute nonetheless the next thing that i grabbed is this handwriting book level one i didn't actually get to see inside this book i kept trying to click on it and it wouldn't allow me to see inside which was kind of weird but 
I read up on it and it said that it teaches your kids how to write um, and it starts off big and as they get better it goes into them right teaching it starts teaching them how to downgrade their writing you know make it a little not downgrade their writing style no how to start writing smaller you know cuz <laughs> little kids they like to write huge and yeah as they grow they you know learning how to condense the writing down to a smaller size is awesome the fact that it gives direction this is one thing that was another problem in the book that I was currently using as I was trying to teach my daughter how to write it. I constantly had to teach her the direction and it's also different because she is a lefty and from what I'm learning from lefties they do write and it's like mirrored. There's a little bit of a difference. However, the direction of how we start off writing a letter and how we continue, I had to constantly remind her of that. Whereas in this book, I'm, from what I'm seeing, it shows it. So that is neat, okay? Outside of it just being handwriting, it does incorporate just fun, cute little things to do. So I'm excited for that. I think altogether this curriculum cost me about $300. So it, you know, it's it's not like exactly inexpensive, but I do want to point out that I do notice that the curriculum for the most part, a lot of it is available and it's there for free if you want to kind of just print it out day by day. For me, I just kind of want to have it here and I want it I want to get started with it. So I'm excited to kind of dive right in and I'm now curious to know how many of you guys have tried this curriculum. Let me know um just I had asked you guys for your feedback last time to just let me know what your take on on it was and I was grateful for those of you guys who provided feedback so I went ahead and I took the plunge and I ordered it and now I'm gonna dive right into it because I'm just excited it just feels it does feel a little exciting it feels like the beginning of the school year even though we are in mid-October and I will be sure to film a day in the life of me uh, just showing how I homeschool using these items. So definitely stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 